It is a scary contrast. William and Catherine gave Meghan and Harry a bitter lesson and trust issues. Hello and a very warm welcome back to Royal Media News Channel. You could clearly see there was no goodwill when the two brothers and their wives were photographed together outside of Windsor Castle. It looked incredibly awkward and quite strange as well. Clearly it was just a symbolic gesture to show how much they respected the Queen. The look on Meghan's face in that photo as she's looking across as somebody who one day will be Queen. I think Meghan was scared and she was clearly feeling very uncomfortable when she was around William and Catherine. I guess it's pretty easy for Meghan to lob those grenades all the way from the US. But when she's in the UK, clearly things are different. See when Meghan is in the US on her home territory, she acts like she's all big and brave but obviously her being so close to William and Catherine left her feeling very uncomfortable. She was trying to hide her face and she was trying to hide behind Harry. So obviously Meghan isn't quite as brave as she lets on. I can't help but wonder why didn't Meghan go out there standing tall and confident just like Catherine did. And I don't think it was an act on Meghan's part. You don't need to be a body language expert to understand Meghan. It's clear that she's only brave in the US where she can just hide out in her own mansion. I think Meghan was positively terrified to have to face the family, the country, and the people that she told so many lies about them for two whole years and it was under the most emotional of circumstances. Meghan had to do that after her podcast had begun and after the interview that she did with Oprah Winfrey. I think that's a pretty hefty dose of karma and I was happy to see it. I'm sure Meghan simply cannot wait to return to California. Over the past three years the royals had to watch on as the queen became weak and frail. She had a lot to deal with in these three years. The strain of the endless taunting for Meghan really took its toll and that's exactly why many people have come to the conclusion that Meghan actually sped up the death of the much-beloved Queen. Now Meghan is in the UK but they told her she could not go with Harry to Balmoral. She was not welcome there. The palace has to accept that William only agreed to be seen with Harry and Meghan because the two of them had threatened to do their own royal walkabout. They said they were going to bring a film crew along with them while they went out and met with the crowds and it looks like Meghan wanted Spotify and Netflix to see them comforting the people who were so overcome with grief at the loss of the Queen. She said something like, oh Harry we've got to go out and be filmed offering comfort to those poor people who are mourning over the beloved Queen. And you know what? Take your time go slow when you hug that old woman who's crying. We want to make sure that the cameras get the shot and make that hug last as long as you possibly can and while you're at it, shed some tears too if you can. I mean that one image by itself could earn us so much money. But unfortunately for Meghan, Harry is still a member of the family. And I believe he still loves every member of the royal family. William was referred to as William then the new estates in the title of Prince of Wales were added to his existing titles and Harry got the same level of familiarity but we didn't hear anything about titles. He's not carrying out any duties for the monarchy and he's also mentioned as living overseas. So it made me curious about whether or not Harry plans to stay in the US. And if he remains in the US forever, is it because he really wants to be there or has he been pretty much exiled? So the fact that King Charles chose to include the word overseas could just be a reference to Harry's previously stated preferences or could it be a sign that he's no longer seen as a close family member? What is your opinion on this matter? Let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you later.